Hello students, in trick number 192, I am going to deal with another amazing shortcut on compound interest and simple interest. Now there are numerous problems in which the difference between compound and simple interest is used. Now in these problems, the traditional methods will consume a lot of time because you need to find uh, and apply both the formula for simple interest and the formula for compound interest. So the students who are in class 7th, class 8th level, they study this topic for the first time and they apply the traditional method. But those methods cannot be applied at competitive level. You need to have a method, a trick up your sleeves so that you can solve the problems involving the difference of compound and simple interest in a matter of just three to four seconds only without applying any lengthy calculations and formulas. So the f uh, first part of this video, I am taking problems in which the time given is only two years or two half years. So two years time in subsequent videos, I will take the time as three years also. So in this video, we will be taking problems only where the time given is two years only. So remember the shortcut which I am going to tell you is applicable only for problems involving difference of compound interest and simple interest and for a time period of two years only. The first problem is see the difference between CI and SI. Obviously the compound interest is more than simple interest on a certain sum of money is rupees 980. So here we are given that the difference between the CI and SI is 980. Now I will call this difference as D. If the rate of interest is 7% per annum, so R is 7% per annum. And time is obviously two years, so we don't need to consider that. And now we need to find the sum of money, that is we need to find the principal P. Now for finding P, here is an amazing shortcut. This shortcut will enable you to solve this problem in just 3 to 4 seconds. The formula which we are going to apply to solve this problem is P is equal to, now P is the principal amount. D into, or D is the difference between the CI and SI. Now, 100 to the power of number of years. So here we have two years. So this will be 100 square divided by the rate of interest R, so R square. Now by applying this formula, you can easily find one variable when other two variables are given. In this case, we are given D and R and we need to find P. So D difference is 980 into 100 into 100 upon the rate of interest given is 7%. So 7 into 7. So if you cut 7 with 980, this will be 140 and again 7 20 times. So here we have the answer which is 2 followed by 5 zeros. So rupees 2 lakh is the principal amount. Now see no lengthy calculations, very very compact and time saving method to find the principal amount. Now this is the shortcut and remember this shortcut can be applied only when the time given is two years. Let us take one more problem. Rupees 10,000 are invested. So principal amount is rupees 10,000. For two years, obviously time is two years. At the rate of 5% per annum, so R is 5%. Find the difference between CI and SI. Now this time we need to find D. Now again use the same formula. P equal to D into 100 square upon R square. Now this is the formula. 
Now P given is 10,000 is equal to D we need to find into 100 into 100 upon R is 5%. So 5 into 5. So here you see 4 zeros. 4 zeros cancel out. So here this becomes 1 is equal to D upon 25. So very simple D comes out to be rupees 25. So directly the difference between compound interest and simple interest will be rupees 25. If you calculate compound interest separately then you have to apply lengthy formulas of finding the amount first that is P into 1 plus R by 100 uh, raised to power 2 and then subtract A and P to get the compound interest then find the simple interest using PRT by 100 then find the difference. So through this method it takes only 3 seconds to find the difference between CI and SI. Very useful for competitive exams and very time saving method. So keep sharing the videos and subscribe the channel if you like it.